Hey guys, welcome back to another video in the Android testing playlist. In this video, we'll write the end-to-end -end test for our entire app. So it will be a really big test that simulates a huge user workflow from inserting notes to deleting to picking up images, whatever. So all of that will be in this end-to-end -end test. Let's actually see the app again one last time. So this is how it looks like. The end-to-end -end test will be clicking on floating action button, entering something here, entering something here, picking an image or first entering something here. Maybe it's something good like okay. Picking an image and then make the image is there, clicking on save, making sure it's there, adding a new one, deleting, and all those stuff will be in this end-to-end -end test. To do that, let's close everything or let's collapse everything as well in here. And then we'll go to our course since this is our entire app test. We'll create a new package called presentation. Inside it, we'll create our file that is notes so let's call it notes and to end test okay just like the other tests we first want to annotate this test with health underwood test and then uninstall the app module like this let's create some space down here and then the two rules one for health to inject dependencies and then one for coroutines so let's paste them right here so this one to be able to inject dependencies and then this one for uh, compose to get compose ui that you want to work with and this end-to-end -end test first of all will be the same like this so we'll first automate the insertion and deleting and asserting a note exists asserting a note doesn't exist so we still need these functions in, in our end-to-end -end test we can just reuse them the only stuff that we'll add in our insert note is that we also want to search for images and then use them so to do that we can go to our other test that is in add note this one so in here we have this clicking on image and then making sure that the dialog is there and then searching for some image and then getting that image at, in the end. So let's just copy that and paste it. So clicking on the image box or Im assign image anyway, we make sure that the dialog is shown or is displayed. We enter some text in the search image text field, we wait for some time to simulate the delay, and then we select an image or we pick an image. We make sure that the image that we picked is displayed. And that's it. Now we can create our test. So add test. That's going to be fun notes and to end test like this. And maybe this has to be note like this. As I said, this one is going to be big. So first of all, let's enter a bunch of items. So let's enter something like four items. So insert note I. So now we have four items in the list. And then let's try playing around like deleting the uh, second note. After that, we want to assert that the other notes are still there. So assert that the first note is there and then as actually assert that the second note is not there, so assert is not displayed, and we can just copy this for the third and fourth note, okay? And then since we already deleted this one, let's reinsert it. So assert or insert actually a note two. So we want to insert the second one again because now it's already deleted, and then let's actually insert a new one, like fifth one, so because we already have the fourth one, and then let's delete, for example, the third one, and we want to make these assertions again after all of this that we did assert that the first one is still there assert that the second one is actually still there as well because it's there but then the third one is deleted so assert is not displayed for the third one and then assert that the fourth and fifth one are displayed like this so as you can see we deleted the second one i mean the third one but we want to make sure that the first one the second one are still there but then the third one is not there anymore because it's deleted as you can see and then making sure that the fourth and fifth one are still there because we didn't delete them. Here they are. We just inserted them. Okay. Now here is the test. We can try running it. And let's see what's going to happen. So we are inserting a bunch of notes, deleting a bunch of notes, and just playing around with it. Okay. Let's wait for it to run. And the test didn't pass because here I'm actually not entering the image URL, which is needed for this one. So let's fix that by now using the same numbers as you can see right here. So that's going to be image and then my note image. Let's bring this to a new line. And that's going to be the same for the rest of these because maybe they are not. So here as well, image and then my note image and here as well. But I don't want three. The query as well can be something like that. So like this. Now let's rerun the test after fixing actually those because we didn't use this note item in them. And the last issue, I know why, I'm inserting a fifth, uh, what is that? A fifth note, which means a fifth image. But if I go to my repository, 
that is in data repository, fake image repository. I don't have five images, which means let me just add more images in here. That's the problem. And let's add a sixth one as well. Hopefully now it should pass because we didn't have enough images before. So, okay, after debugging, I actually found some issues. First of all, we are saving the notes before even picking up any images. So that's actually wrong. We need to save the notes after inserting the image into text fields and everything. So that will be the last thing to do, which is saving the notes right here. So clicking on the save button. But then the problem is with this tag. So let's actually close these and let's go to where we've used it in my add notes screen. So this is how I used it. I said the image, uh, the note image plus the image URL, which is something logical. But at first, the image URL is empty, which means the tag is this one plus an empty string. But in here, at first, the very first item I'm trying to insert, which is the first item, I'm trying to click on an, this, this tag that, that is this one, image. And it's something that I don't have yet. I will have it in the second time I may click on this one, but not in the first time which means I don't actually have to specify which image is this because I only have one. But in the lazy, okay, let's just do this. And the lazy list or in the lazy column in which I have the list of images, I did need that because I have a bunch of images. So I need to know which one to choose from. But in this case, I don't have to. So I need to delete this. Okay. And then that will be the same here. That's the problem or the problems I had with this test. So now let's rerun it again after fixing it. And hopefully now it passes. Okay, as you can see, we are selecting images, adding notes, deleting notes, and doing all those stuff that we specified in here. Let's wait for it. And the test or the end to end test passed. Uh, it's a little bit slower because I'm doing this delay since I have that delay also in the view model. Of course, we can remove the delay for testing if we want, but it's not that important. End to end tests tend to be slow. And this is it for this video in which we build this cool notes app that has all the features from using repositories, view models, room database, retrofit, sorting business logic, and a lot of things. And we wrote test cases for every single thing, ensuring that the app is functioning right. So this is it for this video. See you in the next video and bye.